Hi, this is JP from the Lights of Arkham. Welcome to the Learning to Play series of Lord of the Rings, the card game. And in this series I will be testing out the starter decks that come in the revised core set for this game. Uh, there are four different um, starter decks and this time we will be starting with leadership, which is the all around uh, sphere of influence for this game. So let's see how the leadership deck works against the first scenario of the core box, which is uh, a passage to Mirkwood scenario. So let's get started. I will go through the rules quite briefly while I am playing, so I will be talking about the different phases of the game. There are a total of seven phases, so uh, I'll uh, mention those while I am playing. This isn't a complete how to play tutorial, this is more like me learning to play the game and use the starter deck, so um, keep that in mind, but I'll do my best to explain uh, what any, anything or everything means while playing. It, it is a learning experience for me too, so um, that is why <laughs> I'm a bit hesitant of making a how to play video. Instead I'm making this learning to play video where I'm basically learning the game as well. So quickly going through, uh, we have uh, uh, three heroes in play. These are uh, for the leadership starter deck. We have Aragorn, uh, Theon, Theodred and Gloin. So they are all in the um, sphere of influ influence of the leadership aspect or the sphere, uh, sphere of influence, which it's called in this game. Uh, so while we pick these heroes at the start, there are cost to that. There is a total of 29 uh, cost for them. That means we start with the 29 uh, doom or uh, threat in play in the threat dial. If we reach 50, uh, we lose the game. If we uh, or if all, all of our heroes are defeated, we lose the game. The way to win the game is to uh, advance the uh, quest uh, to the end and after it reads you win the game you win the game and so forth so we are trying to advance this quest deck and get to the end so during the setup uh, the quest 1-8 says that uh, search the encounter deck for one copy of the forest spider and one copy of old forest road and add them to the staging area then shuffle the encounter deck so uh, after that we flip this over and we need eight progress for this um, quest to advance and we have already searched for the uh, forest spiders and the old forest road here and here is the encounter deck i've already shuffled that we have the player deck here we have our uh, progress tokens wound tokens and resource tokens over here and that's basically it. This is the uh, setup for the first scenario. We are ready to draw our opening hand. So the hand size, the opening hand is six cards. One, two, three, four, five, six. We have a mulligan if we don't like our hand. So we get the Steward of Gondor, uh, Grim Resolve, Sneak Attack, Ever Vigilant. Uh, we got one axe. Uh, uh, or Longbeard Orc Slayer Ally and Ever Vigilant. So I'm not really liking this and we probably want some cheaper stuff to play. The Steward of Gondor would be great, uh, except we don't have any... Uh, uh, we don't have other good cards in our hand, so I am actually doing the mulligan. So the mulligan in this game works that we shuffle the whole hand back into the uh, player deck. Then we draw six more cards and we have to keep that hand. So 
uh, hoping to get a bit, a bit better uh, hand for this. So just a quick shuffle and let's see, just cutting the deck, getting one, two, four, five, six cards. Then we get uh, for Gondor, we get Son of Arnor, uh, Longbeard of Orkslayer, a Snowborn Scout, Guard of the Citadel, and Sneak Attack. So we get a bunch of allies. I'm actually keeping my hand underneath here, so you can see our hand. This is the play area, so uh, cards in play will be in play up here. This is the staging area, so here is the uh, encounter cards that generate uh, threat. So threat is uh, in the cards up here. So uh, we are trying to quest against the threat. So we need to get rid of these cards to be able to advance this. Uh, here will be the active location area. Once we get an active location, I'll talk a bit more about those. Here is the encounter deck, so we discard cards or, or discard encounter cards go here, and here is our player deck, and discarded cards go here, and I think that is that is it. So uh, I'll keep my hand open, so you can see what choices I have, and uh, we are ready to start. So first phase of the game or or the round is the resource phase. So we gain resources. Uh, so each hero gains one resource, and uh, the resources are uh, bound to the uh, sphere of influence, so uh, because we are playing the leadership uh, starter deck, there is only uh, leadership uh, heroes here, so all of our resources are good for the leadership cards. If we would have, like, uh, for example, lore or spirit cards in the deck, we could only play them using the resources on uh, spirit or uh, lore heroes so that is you can you can make a really uh, diverse deck with different kind of heroes but that means you can only play cards that are from the same sphere of influence with the resources on that hero so that that is a thing to consider when starting the deck build but for now we can play anything with the resources on the heroes so um, Resource phase, we gain resources, we draw a card, so immediately we draw one more card, we get um, Ever Vigilant, so not that useful at the start, but it is what it is. So I'm immediately thinking that we want to play a couple of uh, allies into play, they are really useful, and uh, I'm thinking we move to the planning phase. So, so the resource phase was gain resources, draw a card, then we move to planning phase. This is the phase where you play allies and um, attachments. Events we can play whenever there is a action uh, slot. And I'm not keeping this in view, but I'm just quickly showing that... Sorry for bumping the camera, but all these red marks are action slots where we can play cards from our hand which have the action so for example ever vigilant action choose and ready one ally card so we could ready a exhausted ally card etc but yeah you need to keep this in mind when you're playing so you don't you don't run into timing issues or anything like that so uh, how you play cards we spend resources i'm using uh, a resource from Aragorn and Theodred to play uh, Guard of the Citadel. So Guard of the Citadel, let's uh, quickly look through, is a two-cost uh, ally, ally rates here. Uh, you can quest with one will, or yeah, it's willpower, then uh, this guy has a one attack power, zero defense power, so this is a offensive ally, so to speak, and it belongs to the leadership uh, sphere of influence. It has the Gondor and Warrior traits, so that is needed if some cards refer to those 
traits. Then there's fluff tests. So this guy comes into play here. So good thing to, rem to remember is that the heroes only generate resources, allies do not. But you can use allies to do the same thing, kinds of things as the heroes. Uh, then we still have uh, uh, one resource to use, so I am using it to play uh, the Snowboard Scout. I think we don't need any of the other cards this round. And uh, that is our planning phase because we are out of resources. We will head to the third uh, phase, which is the quest phase. So in the quest phase we can commit characters to quests. And just to keep in mind, I think we want to try to advance this as fast as possible. Uh, also, uh, we want to commit some uh, characters to quests so that we don't get threat. So if we fail a questing uh, phase, uh, we get uh, added doom on the doom dial. So. Uh, if we go to 50, we lose, so we want to try and quest and deal with these threats, etc. So, uh, right away, I'm looking that uh, Aragorn and uh, Gloin could really go questing. These other guys could just try to kill off this at the encounter phase. So, do we have enough? Um, these two deal only three, that's not enough. Uh, so, I think I will do it so that Gloin and. Uh, or maybe we save Aragorn and go questing with these. So, uh, I am questing with Gloin. So, after Gloin. Uh, Suffers damage, add one resource to his resource pool for each point of damage just suffered. I think we're okay not using that. So we'll go questing with Gloin. So that's two. Then we'll go questing with Theatred. And Theatred uh, has the response after Theatred commits to a quest, choose a hero committed to that quest, add one resource to that hero's resource pool. So uh, we'll add uh, one. Source there, and I think that is everything we want to do in the questing phase. So we are uh, three versus three. Then we get an encounter card. So uh, we are now at the staging uh, phase of the questing phase. So the uh, first was commit ch characters. Then is staging. Uh, we'll add an encounter card. And it is a Great Forest Web, so it's a two threat a card and it comes into play here in the staging area. Uh, that means that uh, we actually fail the quest, which is not that bad at the start. We have to uh, get, get the board under control and then we can start questing more, effici more efficiently. Um, so we have five against three so we fail by two so we add two over here so we are 31 threat or doom uh, next uh, that that was the questing phase wholly done next we go to travel phase we'll travel so i'm actually just picking one of these and i'll pick this one uh, and do I want to? Yeah. So, no. Uh, I'll I'll go here. So, oh yeah. Now now I remember. <laughs> I should have used Aragorn here. Uh, so we'll travel travel uh, travel over here. Or do we? No. We'll travel over here. So we. Uh, ready Gloin. Then, oh yeah, uh, we forgot to do the uh, response for this guy. So uh, after 
Snowborn Scout enters play, choose a location, place one progress token on that location, and uh, this was the only location when it entered play, so we'll place one here. So, uh, to get rid of these locations, we first have to travel into them, then we have to uh, progress them like we are progressing the quests. So, to get rid of these. And now, this, for example, doesn't add to the threat value, these do. But I think we're de defeating this one and we only have this to uh, keep in mind next turn. So, uh, yeah, so that was the travel phase. So we uh, traveled to the old forest road that led us to uh, Ready Gloin. Then um, we'll go to encounter phase. So first off, we in the encounter phase, this is the phase we are dealing with all the enemies, etc. So... Uh, we have the optional engagement. Optional engagement is that we can pick an enemy and engage it. I'm picking this one and I'm engaging it with myself. And that is it. Then we would have um, engagement checks. Uh, we are checking this uh, number over here with our doom. So if our doom is higher than this, uh, this uh, enemies come engage with us even if we don't want them to but we are engaging this either way so we don't do the engagement checks for this round and that is the uh, encounter phase so next up we'll go to the um, uh, we will also assign defenders here so I'm defending with Gloin so Gloin will exhaust to take this then we'll go to uh, combat phase, which is the sixth phase. So we deal shadow cards. So dealing shadow cards is that uh, we deal uh, an encounter card and resolve the shadow uh, step of that uh, when when we uh, re uh, when we resolve the enemy attacks. So that is why I deal that card. So we are. Uh, Looking at the damage here, so uh, two and after forest spider engages a player, it gets plus one attack power until the end of the round. So that is three against uh, uh, a defense of one. But uh, next we'll reveal this one. So here uh, we have shadow. Choose and discard one attachment from the defender character. If this attack is undefended, discard all attachments in control. I don't have any attachments, so that doesn't do anything. So this just goes to the discard pile. Then uh, we'll take the damage. So three versus uh, defense of one. So we take two damage and we also get two resources for Gloin. Then uh, we resolve uh, player attacks. So, to defeat this guy, I'm attacking with Aragorn and I'm attacking with Guard of the Citadel to deal 4. So this enemy is defeated and it goes away. And that is the end of the combat phase. So, next we get to the last phase of the round, which is the Refresh phase. So, we ready its character. Then we increase threat, so the threat increases by one each round, so we do that. And we would pass the first player token if we were playing a multiplayer game, but I'm playing through solo, so that is not the step we need to do. But that is the first round, let's go to the next round. Okay, so uh, the first round was a bit long, because I had a lot to explain while I was playing, so uh, from now on, I'm not explaining that much. Uh, you got a basic idea of our round composition from the first round, so let's start uh, playing a bit faster and see how this goes. So, again, we are at the resource phase, so we get resources. One, two, three here. Then we get to uh, draw a card. We get the Celebrian Stone. Really good. Mm. So 
uh, we will use two to play the Celebrian Stone. So attached to a hero restricted. So restricted means you can only have two restricted her, uh, character in play. Attached hero gains plus two willpower. If attached hero is Aragorn, he also gains a uh, resource icon. Hmm. Yeah, so he will uh, generate a wild resource, I think, or uh, actually spirit resource. So Aragorn could do spirit stuff, but we don't have any spirit cards, so those resources are useless, I think. But that is actually I, I need to check that because now I don't know if I can use that to play anything other than uh, uh, neutral cards, but it is what it is. I'll, I'll check that later. Uh, and then we'll continue. We still have four resources, so... I think I'll save that one resource play uh, the Son of Arnor. After Son of Arnor enters play, choose an enemy card in the staging area or currently engage with another player. Engage that enemy. Well, uh, ignore that. Then uh, we'll end the planning phase. We go to the quest phase. I commit uh, Aragorn. Aragorn uh, adds four. I'll use this to ready Aragorn immediately. We'll Go to six, uh, seven, eight, and I'll add a resource here. So we are at eight, and then we get the counter card, and we are uh, against two, so the active location doesn't add to the threat value. So two uh, plus three, so we were at eight, so we beat it by three. So that is enough to beat this, and uh, add one here, so we get rid of this one. And then um, uh, we go to travel phase, so uh, I'm going to... I'm going to go to the Necromancer's Pass to get rid of that faster. So I have to discard two cards random from my hand, I'll do that. Travel there. We discard those two. So we discard Ever Vigilant and Paul Gondor. And that is the travel phase. We don't have an encounter phase, no enemies in play. We don't have a combat phase, no enemies to deal damage to or from get from. So we go to refresh phase, so we're ready. We will uh, increase threat, 33, and that is it. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. We start the next round by starting the resource phase, so gaining resources. Uh, we'll gain the usual, and I'm just placing the uh, spirit resource over here, so I'm not at the moment spending those with the rest. We get the card, it is the Steward of Gondor, so attached to a hero, attached to hero gains the Gondor trade action, exhaust the Steward of Gondor to add two resources to attach hero's resource pool. So I am using it to play it on uh, Aragorn. Then I'm, uh, yeah, so we are at the planning phase, so I just play that and nothing else. Let's see. Okay. So we uh, do an action at the planning phase to get two resources with the Steward of Condors, I'm exhausting that. 
heading to, to Aragorn. Let's go questing. Uh, we won't play anything else in the planning phase, so questing. I'm just all out going to questing this round, so Aragorn spending one, reading Aragorn. Uh, then going here, I'll add one here. Going with the Gloin also, going with the guard of the Citadel. So uh, four, five, six, seven, eight again. Then uh, we are against two, so we get uh, how the card, which is a forest spider, is a two, so four against eight, so we advance four. This is uh, resolved, and we add two here. So I'm at three here. Then we go to travel phase. We'll, of course, travel here. We have to exhaust one uh, uh, character, and I am exhausting. Well, it doesn't matter. We need three to defeat... Three damage to defeat that enemy, so I think Aragorn will... I'm exhausting the Son of Arnor to travel. Then we'll go to... Oh, encounter phase, so we are engaging this enemy, and I am uh, taking it with the Snowborn Scout. Then um, uh, we'll play sneak attack. To I'm using it from Theodred to play uh, Longbear Orc Slayer. Just playing it here for now. So this is here. So then we go to combat phase, deal the shadow cards. We'll get one shadow card here. We'll flip it. It is uh, shadow uh, raise defending players threat by four. So we raise the threat by four. That is not nice. We lose a lot of time. It is what it is. Then we deal three damage here. It is enough to defeat this but then we can use Aragorn and the Longbeard Orc Slayer to defeat this. And then, just checking the sneak attack. End of the phase. Yeah, so I will actually play it in the combat phase so we can actually hit. And yeah, so at the end of the phase, this guy comes back into my hand. Then that is the combat phase ending. Uh, refresh phase ready. Uh, ready everything. And oh, a bit not used to this setup, so my camera is a bit set up differently than usual. So <laughs> banging it around. Sorry for that. So uh, ready increased threats. We are at uh, 38, and that is it. So that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we start with the resource phase, so adding resources to the heroes. One, two, and three. Also, I'll add the one here. So I don't know if I can use. Oh, yeah, this should be ready also here. We draw a card, uh, we get another Longbeard Orc Slayer. Uh, we'll go to the planning phase, so I am using the Steward of Gondor to gain two sources. And I am using four resources to play this. And I'll use four resources to play this other one after Longbeard. Enters play, deal one damage to each orc and play. There are none. It doesn't matter, we just want more meat to the grinder. That is everything. We'll go to quest phase. So uh, Aragorn goes to questing, Theodred goes to questing, Gloin goes to questing, 
and the guard of the citadel goes questing uh, we'll add one here and that is it so uh, let's see we have one two three four five six seven eight again zero we'll get an encounter card it is an enemy so uh, dol guldur orcs when revealed the first player chooses one character currently committed to a quest deal two damage to that character so i'll put the damage on feared red over here uh, then um, we are uh, eight against two so we resolve this and get four here so we're at seven so we are one away from getting that defeated so looking good I think next up uh, we'll go to the encounter phase so optional engagements I'll engage with one of these then uh, we'll go to combat phase we deal a shadow card to this uh, we'll deal the enemy attack so shadow deal one damage to each character the defending player controls one okay so this is really really bad well, it's, it's not the end of the world, but we get a lot of damage dealt to us. Nothing dies at the moment, but still not nice. Not nice at all. Just checking. Um, after Gloin suffers damage, at one. Okay, so Gloin gets an, a, a one resource for that damage. Then uh, this guy hits for two, this has one defense, so we'll add one damage here. Then these two will uh, hit it for four to defeat it, and that is it. So that is the combat phase. We go to refresh phase, so uh, refreshing everything. Then uh, Uh, we increase threat to 39 and uh, that is it so that is that round let's go to the next round we start by taking the resources in the uh, resource phase and uh, just change these to a tree and uh, I think I can use these resources to ready Aragorn. So I think I'm using that, those for that. So we draw a card, another Celerian Stone, but it is a unique, so we can't play a second one to another character in play. So that is a bit useless card at this moment. Uh, we will start questing. So uh, this round uh, we. Just will quest with Aragorn. So adding four. And let's put this guy also in. So five against zero. We just need one to advance because we can't uh, put the rest to the next card. So uh, we get uh, Dolkurd or Beastmaster. So uh, force when Dolkurd Beastmaster attacks, deal one additional. Shadow card. Okay, well, still uh, we managed to advance this. So, next up we have the fork in the road. It's 2A and uh, nothing happens here. We we'll flip it. We need 2 to advance fourth. When you defeat the stage, proceed to one of the two are chosen path stages at random. So, we have two are chosen paths next. So, we deal that. Once we get there, uh, we don't have any place to travel to, so that is that. We'll go to the encounter phase. Uh, we will engage 
this enemy with would like to engage I'll, I'll just engage with uh, this uh, guy so I will go to the combat phase we deal an extra shadow card we resolve the enemy attack so this guy hits for 3 damage and we see defending player must choose and exhaust one character to control will exhaust Gloin Then, uh, when we will deal one damage to each exhausted character, which is really bad. Uh, well, this guy is dead. This guy is dead. Aragorn takes one damage, and Gloin is dead. That is a bummer. So, Gloin goes to the dead pile. Lose those resources. These are dead. But then we can hit with these three to be this guy. And that is that round or, or combat phase. So as you can see, uh, combat is brutal in Lord of the Rings. Characters just die from out of nowhere. But we'll see if we can uh, manage to get to the end. Um, we go to refresh phase, we ready up. And uh, we actually, I used the sword uh, Steward of Gondor for Aragorn, so I'll add a couple of these. It is an action, we can do it in any, any phase, so I'll do it in the combat phase, for example. And then uh, we increase the threat, so we are at 40, so 10 threat are doom away from getting or losing. But that is that round, let's go to the next round. We are at the resource phase, so I'm adding resources, so only two resources get added. Change that to a 5, then I'll use the Steward of Gondor just to add two more. Uh, we'll get a card. It is uh, Brock Iron Fist. Unfortunately, we just lost Gloin, but it is what it is. I'm using these resources from Aragorn to play uh, Brock down. Uh, we'll go to uh, quest phase after the planning phase, so I'm committing Aragorn to be one of these. Oh, yeah, we added one there, so. At three again. So Aragorn readies. Then we only need two here, so I have four committed. So I'm uh, adding Theodred to also add one resource here, just so if we hit a three, we still advance this one. So we get the encounter card. And it is when real deal one damage to each exalted character. Oh, these are brutal. So we lost another hero. And that is it. Really not looking good, but we'll advance this one. So next we pick one of these at random. We pick that one. So, uh, when reveal each uh, player must search the encounter deck and discard pile for one spider card of their choice and add it to the staging area. The players must find and defeat Ungoliath spawn to win this game. So, I think we look for the Ungoliath spawn. Let's see, where is that enemy? Okay, so not in the counter deck. I think we. Uh, had it as a shadow card earlier. So check the discard. So where is the Ungoliath spawn here? So we need to defeat that enemy. He has nine health, but uh, at the moment we have three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 
it is not enough for this round but next round we definitely can defeat that enemy um, so that this is added here and uh, so we need to defeat this enemy uh, we'll go to travel phase we don't have anywhere to travel in counter phase we engage this so I'm using I use this one so each character currently committed to a quest gets minus one until the end of the phase doesn't matter at this phase um, we deal a shadow card here when revealed, the player with the highest threat level attaches this card to one of their heroes' counters condition attachment. Uh, that hero doesn't ready during the refresh phase unless you pay two resources for that point. And then this uh, ally is defeated. This hit for uh, three, four, five, six, seven. So we are at seven damage. We still need to deal two damage next round to defeat it. And uh, we ready. Uh, Aragorn doesn't ready. So this. And uh, increase threat to 41. And that is that round. Let's go to the next round. Uh, we add a whopping one resource here, one resource here, and Two resources here. I'll actually, yeah, I spent two resources last round. I forgot uh, I had those, so I'm reading Aragorn. And yeah, this this enemy is engaged with us, so it doesn't add to the threat value. We'll use the steward of Gondor to add two uh, resources here. We draw a card. Uh, we get the four Gondor. Until the end of the phase, all characters get plus one uh, attack well, uh, strength. All Gondor characters also get plus one defense uh, strength until the end of the phase. So we are definitely playing that in the uh, in the combat phase. But yeah, um, I am going to the after the uh, we'll skip the planning phase. We don't have anything to do there, so I'll go to. Uh, quest phase will quest with Aragorn. Spend two to ready, or, or one to ready with uh, Aragorn's ability. I'm actually spending here. Uh, we'll get a car. It is uh, deal one damage to each exhaust character. We don't have any exhaust characters, so that whiffs, uh, luckily. Uh, then we don't add any threat or doom then we go to travel phase not nowhere to travel and counter phase we engage this and i'm engaging this guy then uh, we deal shadow card to that enemy uh well it doesn't have a shadow text so we just discard it this uh, is defeated and aragorn and this guy hits this for a bunch of damage so we defeat the Ungolian spawn. So the players must find a defeat Ungolian spawn in the game. So that is a win for the leadership uh, star starter deck from the Lord of the Rings, the card game revised for a set. So that was a pretty fun fun game. Uh, in the end, we we lost a couple of heroes, but Aragorn was able to. Uh, get this fellowship to victory. So hope you guys like this playthrough. Look forward to the other um, starter decks from the core set in a later videos. So thanks for watching and until next time.